fell over there with that guy that came the wrong way. All right, we're done. Let's go to the next one. It is, uh, I don't even know what day it is, Tuesday morning. <laughs> All right, so we're here in Raleigh, North Carolina. We're gonna get this load, uh, unload it. Um, small construction site. That's the exit right over there. They call these a roundabout, which is a roundabout, but it's actually dirt, not really roundabout yet. So you can't even see it on the Google Maps. But I'm here, I'm gonna take a couple of these straps off, just kind of be ready. So when they come, uh, it's a little faster process. If I have to adjust a little bit, it'll be fine. This thing's not going to go anywhere. So uh, I'm going to take these off and I get ready to be unloaded.
there's only one thing that I sometimes I dislike about some construction sites mostly construction sites production manufacturers when we arrive to pick up um, you know if they take the time they usually have several trucks so you just kind of follow and turn and have an appointment most of the time they're actually pretty fast but some construction sites most of the time they're pretty fast as well if you get there kind of already past their there's their safety meetings and all that but I do this like when they say uh, oh we start unloading at 7 and you get here at 7 20 ish unstrapped and everything nobody has come over here to even start or even look at this stuff so. but straps are off let's say this guy lies by but uh straps are off i'm gonna put them up hopefully by the time i'm finished putting them up i know where to go all right so they're finally getting us unloaded they just took the first pallet looks like it's gonna be a few more minutes process but I've been here about an hour now like I said some places you do have to have the patience I know it's not like um, I'm sorry I got the sun right in my face but you guys can plainly see me but some places you just you end up waiting this is not a big big construction site it's like they're building a clubhouse and another set of apartment small apartment complex in, in, a, in a business area but so it's not a very big place. But yeah, sometimes we do wait. Flatbed doesn't wait as long as uh, probably a lot of you guys drive in and reefer uh, drivers. Or you may have a drop and hook and you have you know some quick ones as well, I totally understand. But there are some spots that uh, you end up waiting a lot <laughs> as well. So I got, my dad does it and also my cousin does reefer, so they both do. Um, and for my knowledge, and I got plenty of friends. I hear you guys, you guys included in that for sure, that uh, talk to me personally. But um, yeah, sometimes we do have to wait. Uh, you guys follow the channel for a while, you guys know that I barely, rarely have to wait very long to get unloaded and keep going, but there are a few times where you wait a little bit. Uh, I'm okay with an, an hour, up to two hours I can deal with, depending on the situation that what's going on. After that, I start getting antsy and start bugging somebody. Like, what's going on? I call the office. Uh, definitely ask for detention, all that sweet stuff. So, but hopefully it's very quick. It's about 8:22 right now. Uh, we have a two-hour, just under three-hour deadhead, uh, about two and a half probably. Uh, there's the other THH driver showing up behind me. Um, good. I'm glad I beat him. Um, we have about a two-hour deadhead two and a half hour deadhead back to camp lee, lee john lee june that we went last week so we'll see that that's where we got to go next again i will probably won't bore you with all the deadhead there we'll just get there we're going to pick up a load another military load that's about it's supposed to be around thirty-five thousand pounds so i'm not sure what it is again I'm not sure what it is so we'll see what it is we'll have to check in get our background check again for a day pass so that's going to take about 30 to 40 minutes that's what it took last time if it's faster that'll be great uh, i still got the paper from last week here so <clears throat> but hopefully it's fairly quickly uh just as quick my goal is to drive us drive to about seven eight o'clock at night like we did last week um in order to get to alabama again and to that place between nine around 9 30 again no later than 10 a.m uh they already know this time that we're going to be there wednesday instead of thursday so that's the goal so hopefully as long as they kind of speed the things up here a little bit which is okay um because i know that at 11 30 they 11 to 12 30 those guys in the base are in lunch uh i've got to check the uh, building address but i'm assuming it's the same building that I have to go to and then probably follow, follow them to whatever yard it is that the materials at. Um, so it should be about the same process, but I know between 11.30 and 12.30 they're at lunch. So as long as I get there around 11, 11.30 to them to do that background check, uh, we're about the same timing. And the clockwise is about the same time. So it's all very similar. It's like deja vu this week for this this particular area and loads um and then that's it it's no tarp load i know that for sure it's just a little heavier load than last week of whatever it is and uh i'm still pending on confirming that birmingham reload that i want so i will call once we uh pick up 
and I'm heading towards Alabama, I'll give the officer a call if I'm gonna call back and see if we got confirmation from the customer to release those loads. Uh, Cause that's the load I, I've won for to go back to Birmingham so I can get one of those loads this week. They pay $4 a mile to the truck and uh, <clears throat> Going, it's only 600 miles, 650 miles, so uh, or so. So that's where I want to. That's what I want to do. Put it in good shape, and I still got Thursday and Friday. Would have Thursday to Friday uh, to get another load of the course. Friday reload for the weekend. Hopefully, we make it home Friday afternoon. So that's the plan, guys. So uh, we'll see you when we get to Camel June and find out what we're getting loaded. So I'm gonna wait these guys to get unloaded. I uh, hope you guys are liking the content so far. If you do so far, if you do, hit that like button if you haven't yet. And if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing if you're liking the content. Um, I would surely appreciate all the support, guys. Um, it's been fun doing it, and I continue, will continue doing it for as long as I can uh, physically do so. All right? Um, we'll see you over there in the military base. Peace. Uh, the original broker with this loads it's famous for doing this. They tell you, yes, you can get there earlier because they don't want us to say, to say no to the load. And then we drivers have to deal with maybe not getting unloaded today. So that's the issue. <laughs>